family iridium hope you're doing all right another album review so resurrection kings and sky gazer so 46 minutes and 39 seconds long 11 tracks on frontiers july the 16th produced and co-written by alessandro del vecchio this is a classic hard rock album so look at the names on this album craig goldie on guitar obviously dio x dio Chaz West, um, ex Lynch Mob, I believe. Vinny Appice, you don't even need to uh, explain where he comes from. Amazing drummer. Um, and Alessandro De Vecchio also does the bass and the keys. So he's co written this as well, like I said, and produced it. Um, now, this really pays homage to classic rock. But, and I hate it when there's a but, because I can't like everything. This didn't give me anything, really, apart from a couple of songs of any interest. It didn't grab me at all. And I'll tell you why. Because it almost paid too much homage to that classic rock sound, where I think if you're going to do that, you need to have elements of your own sound, something that's going to grab you a little bit, and this really didn't, apart from a couple of tracks. There's a few instances of this where bands are uh, harking right back all them years ago, which is fine. But sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And where it hasn't worked for me, and it, it might have worked for some of you classic hard rock fans, Vandenberg, their last album, it didn't resonate with me whatsoever. I found it really dull. Kikamora is another one, a recent one. It just didn't work for me. It's almost like they're just carbon copying all those years back, but it's a bit dull. It's not giving you any elements of something you want to hear now. For, for me, that is. Like I said, there are some tracks on this album I like, and I hate having a go because there's great names involved there as well. I mean, Vinnie Appice, must say though his drumming is great throughout this album and you can he's so distinctive his drum and the drum sound you just know it's him straight away he does a great job in here um Chaz west also does a great job sounds a bit like graham bonnet to me obviously he's out of quick um lynch mob so you know he has that lynch mob feel to it as well i think he's the i'm not sure what one out of lynch mob it is off the first album or the second one i know that Two singers have come in and out of Lynch Mob. I don't think it's the one in the end machine. It's the other one. <laughs> anyway, he's got a great voice. Um, Alessandro De Vecchio does great as usual on the keys and the bass. Craig Goldie is a weird one for me. On this album especially, and I, I wasn't that keen on his work with Dio. Because he doesn't seem to stray off of that rhythm guitar enough. I don't want to compare him, but... Um, you know, on the first couple of Dio albums, first three Dio albums, um, Vivian Campbell, obviously, there's some of the best guitar work I've ever heard in my life, but he would also always stray off of that lead guitar and give you really clever little trickery in between the riffing. Craig Goldie doesn't do that. He's very basic riffing until he gets to the solo, plays a solo, then back to the riffing again. And I think it just, doesn't bring enough excitement to the songs. Um, so, uh, this isn't all bad, by the way, and I think that I know, listening to this, if people love that classic rock sound, they have something to like in this as well. But for me, I think you need to add something else as well in with that. So, one of the best songs actually kicks the album off, Sky Gazer. It's the title track, first single, reacted to this, really liked it. Good rocking track, keys used not used nicely to give that epic classic rock feel as, as they do throughout the album. Vocals are great, by the way, really soulful. Welds on Fire is next. Now, this is a good example of what I don't like about this album. I've never been a fan of fast classic rock tracks anyway, but th this is no exception. Um, it feels like it's ticked all the boxes of what a late 70s, early 80s track should should be like. But for me, this is this ain't what I want because I want something that gives me a bit more, something a bit original. Definitely doesn't do that. Great solo though, by the way. Um, not all bad. Next up is Tears. 
It's got a cool groove to this, a little bluesy, this one. Very 70s sounding, as a lot of the album is meant to be. Um, the song comes and goes, though, but doesn't really hook you in. Needs a good chorus, and I think that's another problem on this album. The chorus is lacking. Fight Against Our Pride is next. Again, there's a cool groove to this. Um, Goldie with a nice chugging riff. But again, a chorus that comes and goes without pulling you in. And you don't even, you'd be lucky to find a hook in there or remembering the, the song once it's finished. Um, next up is Angry Demons. This is a slower paced song. This works better, but still lacks a bit of energy. And I think that's another problem on this album. That was the same with the Vandenberg album. There was a lot of energy lacking in that, in that album. Great vocals as usual, though, with some nice harmonising vocals. I think they need to do this more throughout the album, some harmonising stuff like that to lift, sometimes lift parts of the song. Um, Saviour of Souls is, is next, and this is much better, actually. It has a chorus that works and some cool guitar riffs and melodies. One of the better tracks so far. So check that one out, Saviour of Souls, really good. Next up is also a good track, a ballad, Don't Blame Our Love, piano and vocals kicking this off, great vocals. This nods a little bit to Queen, I'd say. A pretty good chorus as well. So, you know, that's what all songs need, a good chorus, especially talking about this, you know, classic rock we all love. You need a good chorus. Is This The End is next. This wasn't one of my favourites. This is a lot of medium to fast paced song. We go a bit back a bit to that sort of dull sound I'm afraid that we've had on some of the songs before um, the chorus again comes and goes without doing anything, lacks energy um, it ticks all the classic rock boxes but lacks so much originality I'm afraid Troubled Soul which is the next track, a familiar sounding riff running through the song but yet again I'm being generous here, saying there's a nice riff, it needs to be good songwriting as well, the song doesn't really go anywhere Set Me On Fire is next, bluesy, not for me, but it will appeal to those people into that sort of bluesy sort of stuff. Great vocal though. Calling All Angels is next. This works better. This is the last track on the album. This works better as it adds more of an 80s element to this. Now, I think that there's sort of, there's greatness in this band. Obviously, look at the people involved. Um, but they only hint at it now and again. This is one of those great songs. It's got a great chorus. It's a really good closer. More of a melodic heavy rock song than that classic rock sort of sound we get throughout. And I think that's what, if they're going to do a third album, and I think, I, I haven't heard the first album either, and reading reviews of the first album, Bit, some poor reviews there saying it's a little bit dull. And I didn't actually listen to it. I, I didn't let, I never let reviews you know, influence me whatsoever. It's, it's just what I listen to because sometimes I like stuff that other people don't. Um, and it said it was like a bit dull, lacks originality in a lot of those reviews. And this is what this album does for me. Now, if they're going to go ahead and do something different, which I think looking at the members, like I said, of the band, they could do anything they wanted. Like it needs, It needs a bit of energy. It needs to maybe get influence from those 80s periods more than those late 70s periods. There wasn't a whole lot of energy in those late 70s albums, but what you had was great songwriting as well. And listen, Alessandro Del Vecchio, 90% of the time, gets it right. Um, on this occasion, not so much, but there will be a lot of fans out there that will love this album, Into the Classic Rock Stuff. You know, and have a listen. There's a three or four songs, I think, already available. Might be two, I'm not sure, on YouTube. So check them out. Check the first album out. You might like it. And if you like the first album, you'll probably like the second album. But you can't like everything. Just an opinion here. Remember that. Thank you very much for listening. I'll see you next time.